I really thought I had no battery on this camera, but I was like, wait, I know I charged it. Hey y'all, hey. My name is Renette and thank you for coming back on this channel and watching another journey through beauty school. Um, I did make a new playlist, beauty school journey, cosmetology school journey, something like that. You can find it on my page. I will be recording, trying to record. I'm like, we're like kind of halfway through the day already here. This is my first day of cosmetology school. Excuse me. And we're on lunch right now and I literally have like 10 minutes uh, to eat. So I just kind of wanted to get on here for you guys and share with you guys the experience so far. If I can like set this up well. Oh, I think that would work. Yeah, that'll work. I just got to turn myself. All right. <laughs> All right, cool, you guys. Yeah, it's really warm. It's like 48 degrees outside, and it was freezing. Ah! It was freezing this morning. But now we're... Uh, sorry, you guys. I got I, I to gotta get a better system here. Um, but anyway, I'm in the school parking lot. Um, so far, we're just going over, like, disinfection, the policies of the school. Um, it's been really fun, actually. Uh, we, we actually just made a rhyme. Um, I'm eating Zaxby's, by the way. I'm sorry I'm going all over the place, but I'm eating Zaxby's. I think this is my first time having Zaxby's. Like, legitimately, my first time having Zaxby's. But, um, yeah, you know, I just felt so so much like calm and peace um coming to school today like I really wasn't super anxious I was just very very grateful and I felt a lot of joy in my heart um coming here so I'm already good I already good if you're wondering about my pumping situation um I am pumping at school during the breaks I get to have a little longer because I am pumping um, so I may miss a little bit of information but especially for the first week it's basically just basic information and we're receiving all the paperwork that we need to like review and everything for all of our quizzes and stuff so that's good Jaxby's is like my dream come true especially if like you love buffalo, like just chicken, buffalo chicken. Zaxby's is my dream come true. I have to be careful though. I'm not trying to get food every day. This is just the first day. Celebratory, little quick lunch. I'm definitely not gonna finish all of this in the um, a lot of time that I have right now, but I'm gonna do my best. It's always great to eat your lunch fresh. I literally just got this like two minutes ago. So, really good. I like this flavor. I got the uh, buffalo like garlic blaze. Uh, I could not tell you. I forgot already. But, it's buffalo and something else. It's definitely got a kick to it. I kind of, I wanted to record inside the class, but it just, it, it wasn't the right, like, time to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen all these kind of talky videos where people are bringing their cameras in the class. I feel like I can more so do that when I, I more, I kind of have more of a groove in the class and maybe when we're doing more, like, hands-on, like, actual, like, mannequin work. But, I'm going to see what I can do. Like I said, every week I plan on recording. So, this is just the first day of the week. Still got four more days. So, I will do my best to record more of the school. More specifically, the class. Y'all, I did kind of like... I tried to do like a contour thing. How'd I do? 
I never do contour. I rare, rarely do contour, but my mom got this uh, cream contour palette and she gave it to me. And I was like, let me add it. So I tried it. I think it came out okay. I set it with a uh, loose setting powder, especially like under my eyes. Yeah, under my eyes, T zone area. But it's probably kind of getting like oily. But not that bad. It's really not that bad. I probably have like food all over my mouth as I say all that. But so yeah, we get 30 minutes. I don't know if I mentioned that. We get 30 minutes of a break. So that's good. The only reason why I have my car on right now is because it's hot. It's warm. And I have this big jacket on. I'm going to take this off. But I'll probably just leave it in the um, car, my jacket, even though it'll probably get cooler. Mm. I don't know, actually, I think I just might just leave my jacket, but then it gets cold in the classroom. I don't know. I'm very, like, sensitive to, like, temperatures. Y'all, I thought leaving my baby with my mom, um, my husband is home too, by the way, he, he does have like one day on and two days off, so he is home today, and thankfully, you know, I get to go home and see my baby, because I'm just like totally missing her already, um, but I, I thought it would be harder for me to leave her. I thought I'd be much more emotional, but I wasn't. It was cool, you know? She was sleeping when I left. She was not happy at first, but then she kind of calmed down. My mom is pretty good with kids, especially like babies. So she was able to calm her down eventually. But yeah, she just has to get more used to my mom. Um, <laughs> But I think uh, I think we're doing okay. I haven't gotten any like calls or anything, thankfully. Um, thanks be to God. Um, yeah, she's doing all right. So I actually called my husband during the 10 minute break. Oh, he called me and then I called him. And I was like, is everything okay? And everything was fine. She had woken up. Like, soon after I had left, she had woken up. Um, and then they tried to feed her, and then she didn't really want to eat, so she went back down for a nap. But yeah, prayers would be very much appreciated um, during this, especially during the first few weeks of school, as, like, everyone is just getting adjusted to this new schedule. Like, my mom being new here. Um, my baby getting used to um, her grandmother and getting used to me not, you know, being around for a few hours. So any prayers on a smooth transition, please, and just God's guidance and peace over that. So would very much appreciate it. All right, y'all, I'm going to finish this because I literally, literally have like I, I, yeah, I'm thinking I have all the time in the world here, but I, I do not. So, it's 101. So, I gotta go. Say hi, Mom. Say hi to the vlog. Hey. <laughs> my mom is here. Oh, man, I look crazy. I got mascara all underneath my eyes. It is 11.46 p.m. on Monday the first day of beauty school down and I totally forgot to show you what was all in my kit uh, it's been a really long day but I can show you guys what I have in my box and what I organized and I could tell you a little bit before I go to bed here what was really all in the kit so let's do this I have my Rolos rollers roller set 
And then we have here a uh, clip set, razor blade clip set. Yeah, I'm not really too keen on the whole male cutting thing, but this is for male cuts here. Razor blade and all that, clips. And then we have a spray bottle, I think that is for disinfecting or maybe coloring i'm not sure that plastic bottle underneath there that is a spray bottle um these are hair clips small and like kind of medium and these are the duck clips the bigger clips through here and these are curling rods and these are um the bigger hair clips and then we get mixing bowls in here and the um, coloring brushes and the processing caps are there. And then these, in this box, this is all of my brushes and my combs. Let's see if I can have kind of a system going here. All of this has to go back to school tomorrow. So this is all going back. Um, and what is that? Oh, that is all of my nail supplies right there. And then underneath here, there is a makeup kit bag, and then there is a skincare bag as well. And the brand of skincare is Dermalogica, which is like a really, really good brand. And the makeup brand it is called Bodyography. Bodyography. And I'm really excited to dig into that makeup, actually. This is a mannequin hand and a mannequin foot. So we're actually going to be doing manicures on that foot and actually doing acrylic nails on the hand, which is really, really cool. And then this right here, we get a roller bag. Our class actually, I believe, is like the second class that gets the roller bag. So we get kind of newer things than the other classes before us which is pretty cool um, this has wheels and everything it's kind of like a suitcase bag and it's pretty steep it can fit a good amount of stuff let me show you guys what's in here this is a skincare mannequin head and this is the um the rod to hold the mannequin heads this these are the flat irons uh, yeah, blow dryer in here, curling iron, we got a tiny flat iron and a bigger flat iron as well. Um, blow dryer, I think that's it. Oh, and then we have the diffuser tips here and the blow dryer, uh, different tips for the blow dryer as well. And then in this pocket here, Oh, we're going to be learning balayage, which I'm really excited about, to learn about color in general. This is for the actual, like, um, what is this? For the North Carolina State Board and everything test, and, like, our standards for uh, disinfecting and uh, infection control and cleaning and all that. So this is important to always have. And these are our capes for clients. And this is the mannequin cape for the mannequin head. And I believe this mat is for the hot tools that you place it on. And I believe so. And then you get a really nice, I really wanted to show you guys this really fancy leather bag to hold all of our shears. Oh, mom, did you see this? Look at all of our shears. This is all of our shears here. Oh, wow. Right? That's so cool. Oh my god, you got so many. Yeah. I don't even know what this is. Oil the, for the shears. Oh yeah, I shears. guess so. Professional shears. Do you guys know what this is? Let me know Probably in the comments. Oil. It's oil at all. Maybe. These are like heavy duty. Uh, yeah. And you got to keep one of those. I know. Things. They're like so fancy. I'm afraid to use these. I look with the comb too. There's also cut mm here, -hmm. huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. That's that thick. Alrighty, you guys. So that is 
basically all that's in my kit and it was a really really fulfilling day a very busy productive day and back at it again tomorrow i probably won't film tomorrow i my goal is to film probably later in the week just so i can just get more adjusted uh, in the class and everything and feel it out and see how i want to actually record inside of the school um, I'll probably start recording when we're actually working on the mannequin heads, too. That'll be fun to show you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Here, hi, you guys. Good evening. And this is my outro that I'm filming. I did not get to film the outro for the previous clips that you had just seen. And I was going to add more clips to... I was going to add more to the clips that you saw so i'll try to say and so i didn't get to do that this week i didn't film whatsoever i even had my camera in my bag the intent was to film me actually cutting on the mannequin head which we did get to do this week by the way we did 45 90 and 180 degree cuts on our female mannequin head her name is courtney by the way they're all labeled uh, with names which I think is funny and cute um, and then we are now working on our male mannequin head whose name is Kyle and that's been um, interesting we've been doing a 90 degree cut on Kyle we just started that on Friday yes today is Saturday um, the previous clips that you saw uh, were from last week the first week of cosmetology school and I do apologize that I did not film this week. I've just been feeling really reluctant and hesitant to take out my camera for some reason, even though I want to. Um, and I want to film this journey with you guys. But also, I've been having a lack of motivation and energy when I come home to actually like edit my videos, which, you know, I can't make the time now that my mom is here. She's helping out so much uh, with Ophelia. But also, by the time I get home, it's like 5.30, maybe. Uh, sometimes a little earlier than 5.30. And I'm, I'm exhausted. It's a long school day. Um, and I'm on the road for 30 minutes or so. And yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired and exhausted. And I want to be with my baby for a bit. Um, you know, and then I still have to pump. And not complaining here just explaining but yeah i just it's, it's yeah it's just another thing that i have to do right i have to sit down on a computer and edit these videos for you guys but i really want to make these videos to sh share with you my journey and i think it'd be cool to see myself my journey through these videos in cosmetology school and you know um naturally i'm a rather shy person um especially in a new environment and this is a new environment for me so i've been feeling just reluctant to just like bust out my camera because i am um more on the quieter side i guess or shy side even though i ask my questions in class and i do speak up in class when need be but i'm not super i guess outgoing i guess anyway you guys sorry that I did not film this week. That is the whole point of this. But I do appreciate you guys still sticking around and watching these videos. And hopefully, pray for me that I will be able to film more of these videos for you guys. And take you along this journey with me through cosmetology school. Because it is very exciting. And I want you guys to see what it's all about. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, stay in the word and stay in prayer. God loves you and God bless you. Amen.